Samsung fans, you're nothing but a bunch of sellouts. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So, if you made it to just this 30 seconds in the video, you know, you know what I'm about to say. Anyway, it's your man Jay. The Galaxy Z Flip uh, sold out. Now, there's a couple of things to, to take note of when something sells out. Uh, a couple of things happen. Tons of people bought the ones that they did have. Maybe they made 100,000 units or 500,000 units. We won't know until later on. And when you think about that, that's not a lot. You know, 400,000, 100,000, 50, that's not a lot compared to what they sell world, nationwide. So, um, I knew the pricing and all the discounts and everything of the Tom Brown version. I'll talk about that in a little bit. I, I found that out right after the event because if you navigated through the website, you could see the discounts and stuff like that. But, um, the fact that it sold out doesn't mean that they had a bunch of them to start with. We see this all the time. Samsung is still testing the waters with a flip phone. So granted, this one is worlds better than the other one, I would say probably. Uh, and this one is going to be way more comfortable to a lot of people to use. More people will flock towards this one. So maybe they did make 400,000 of them and sell every last bit of them. Who knows? But reality is... They're all gone. The AT&T version, the Sprint version, and the Unlock version are all gone. So they had to delegate a certain amount to each one of those. Uh, in doing so, they probably were shocked that they're all gone considering the price. The phone is $1,380 with no discounts. Now, uh, before we go on talking about that, let's talk about the trade-in value. So here's where Samsung screwed me. And I'm not going to say they screwed you because I, don't, I can't think for you. But here's where they screwed me. If I was buying a Galaxy S20, they give me $600 for my Pixel 4 XL. 600 bucks. They give me 200 for my iPhone S, whatever, whatever it is. But since I bought the Z Flip, they only offered 350 bucks for the trade-in and 55 bucks on my, my iPhone 6S. They're crazy. So as you can see, I'm not trading mine. Uh, and I decided to just pay full cost now and I paid even more because I bought some expensive accessories <laughs> they're charging like a hundred bucks for a case I didn't have to do that I choose to do it because I can pay for it I, I can afford it so I bought it so I ended up kicking out close to 1700 bucks or uh, right at, I think around 1700 bucks or something for everything that I purchased for the phone so that was my choice uh, have at it in the comments tell me I'm crazy oh Jay I thought you said you wouldn't spend more than a thousand bucks well I just did okay, and so the selling out of the Z Flip is kind of a surprise to me. I didn't think that many people would actually be interested in that phone uh, because the S20 Ultra is the same price and you know the S20s don't fold and you get a quad HD display and blah blah blah. I think people want what they want. People want what they want. I personally am excited about the Razer phone and I'm also excited about this phone because I think this type of folding phone is way more functional to a lot of people. A lot of people would rather have this than the first Galaxy Fold. You can argue that all you want to, but the proof is in the pudding. That's just what it is. I think that this phone is going to be one of Samsung's best-selling phones and hard to keep in stock. Now, when it hits carriers, then we'll see a flood in the market of you know people financing them. Uh, but folks like me got to swipe that card for the full amount. And I'm mad at it. This is the, and I said it in another video about 15 videos back. I said, you know, this will be the most money that I give Samsung in 2020. And so I went all in. I like the phone. I don't care that it has a 1080p display because Samsung makes the best 1080p displays. And the phone can still, the cameras are still great, even though you don't have the zoom lens and the hyper zoom and the space zoom and all that stuff that nobody's going to use anyway. It has an ultra wide lens. Uh, it has that really small display on the front. Eh, okay, yeah. I'm going to be flipping it open anyway. I'm just storing it this way. I don't think I'll ever take a selfie with that little screen because I don't use my phone like that. It's the, it's the convenience of having a full-blown smartphone fold in half and go into your pocket comfortably. That's ultimately what you're paying for. It's like going to the gas station and you know that a gallon of milk is really only $3 at the grocery store, but you still pay $6 for it at the gas station because why? Grocery stores closed, or you didn't want to drive 15 miles. Who knows? Yeah, but selling out, uh, Samsung <clears throat> sold all of these units that they had. More are coming on the 21st. 
Uh, so, as of the recording of this video, today's the 15th, I believe. Oh, no, today's the 14th. Okay, okay, yeah. So, today is actually the long time. I mean, so, hey, hey, I get to kick. I don't have to keep track of no time, son. I don't punch no clocks anymore. So, today is the official launch day. Uh, and I got mine yesterday because yesterday is when it went on sale for me. When I logged into my Samsung account, boom, there it was. Uh, and I said, oh. And that was uh, in the evening time yesterday, maybe between 6 and 9. So I wasn't really keeping track. But um, so the phone is gone and they're supposed to be getting more on the 21st. Mine is scheduled to, scheduled to, delivery, uh, to, uh, to deliver next week sometime, the 18th or the 17th or whatever it said. Um, I'll get a tracking number whenever. I'm not really stressing it because I got one. Uh, and I was really excited about that because I'm really excited to try something different from Samsung. Again, the first fold... It just wasn't exciting to me. I just wasn't so pumped up about it. But now, this phone, I think it's more realistic to use. Like when I have it into a smartphone mode, it's, it's like a regular smartphone. And it's also pretty thin when open. When it's closed, it's like 15 millimeters or 17 millimeters, something like that. But when it's, when it's open, uh, it's 7.9, I believe, which is the size of most regular Samsung phones. So, um, this will be exciting to see how this works. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see the form factor in hand. I'm pumped about it. Now, the Tom Brown Z Flip. That one's actually on pre-order, pre and that one is $2,500, folks. It's a thousand, it's $1,100 more. It's $2,480, and they're freaking crazy. But with that, let's just, let's just see this for what it is. With that, you get a watch and earbuds. Does it equate to... $1,100 more? No, it doesn't. You're getting a case. You're getting a custom case, two bands. I'm just looking at all the stuff you get here. A custom case, two bands, a watch, and earbuds, and some other stuff that's thrown in there. And you get the eclectic exclusive color, just to say that you're rocking the Tom Brown color. Not for $2,500. No way. Because then with tax, it'll be almost three grand for me with all the stuff I probably would have added. I don't know. But no way. Nah. Not having it, son. But I do think that I, I did say I didn't I didn't say anything about it selling out in the vi uh, previous videos. I did say it's gonna s sell really well because it's something that people might be wanting. And like I said at the beginning of this video, people want what they want. You can't tell them not to spend their money. I try to avoid promoting phones over a certain amount. I cover a lot of phones that are under five hundred bucks, and I'll continue to do that. But I'm gonna cover this phone because not because I paid a lot of money for it because this is what I wanted. As soon as I saw this, if you saw my other video, I let you know this is the phone I want. I don't want no S20 Ultra, I don't need no 100 times zoom, I've already got a quad issue display. All those things are, are not important anymore to me. The price is ex it's expensive on all of these phones, so why not get one that stands above the rest from what I can see? That big, long, bulky Galaxy um, Galax Ultra is a 6.9 inch display, can't fold in half. You have to stuff that in your pocket or your back pocket. This can fold in half. So, convenience. Like I said, you're paying for convenience. Yeah. So, those people will tell you, oh, you spent this much money on a 1080p display. Been doing it for a long time. What's the, what's the difference? The only difference now is I get something that's actually probably going to keep me interested for a little bit. So, it's your man, Jay. All you Samsung sellouts, congratulations on your Z Flip. I hope that you were able to get one. Um... If you didn't log in yesterday, you probably didn't get one. Shaman J, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Take care.